Hi, and welcome back. I'm real excited to share with you our IWS Signature Series Motor Coach by Renegade. The reason we call this the Signature Series is we patterned this coach after my own personal coach. And you know, being the owner of the company, it's very important that if I'm going to put my name on something that it you know, represents everything that we are and everything that we can offer. This floor plan is something that I've been working very hard on to perfect. I've owned quite a few motorhomes, as you guys will know from following us through the years. And this is kind of the culmination of all them years of effort. And I really feel this uh, floor plan in a single rear axle is about as good as we can come up with. We built this coach with a lot of things in mind. And one of the things is, is to try to keep it in the 40 foot range, single rear axle, lots of horsepower so it's got good maneuverability it's got plenty of brakes plenty of power we equipped this coach with the detroit dd13 and we're going to talk about that a little bit more we equipped it with the dual ad batteries that we're always doing on most of our premier builds we also equipped it with a 2800 watt inverter there's also a satellite controller or excuse me solar panel controller inside of this compartment door we put the macerator septic system in it we're also installing heaters in it and ceramic temp coats so that these sewage compartments can be used during the middle of the winter. All of the things that we've been doing over the years and perfecting, we've really brought it all into one coach. And that's the coach that you're looking at right here. Now, as we move into the water management bay, you can stay, see we've gone with all of our standard control features in here. You have your black tank dump valve, the gray tank dump valve. You got your tank wash system the flow jet switch for the macerator sewage system, city water and tank fill, you have your low point drain, and we also added hot and cold water outlets at the back. It's something that I wanted on my coach, and so we've transferred it over to this coach as well. I also want to point out in this compartment, we also did the ceramic temp coat, which is a ceramic insulation coating that we spray on the inside of the compartments to make sure that you can use this coach in the middle of the winter. As we move back into the generator compartment, you're gonna, most of you that have been following our videos are gonna know that we typically will install the AKW generator. And on this coach, as we did with my coach, I upgraded to the 12.5 KW. And the main reason I did that is I wanted to run three air conditioners in the coach. We've also equipped the coach with a power wind cord reel. I think that's a really handy asset to have, you know, when you're pulling the cord out at, you know, when you go to an RV spot or when you're rewinding it, you can just push the button and the cord will wind in. I think it's a great feature to have. We're also installing a 30 amp outlet, you can see there, so you'll have power to run auxiliary power if you have a uh, trailer behind the coach. Again, it's pretty standard with all the premium stuff that we normally do. So I hate to say this is standard because almost every option you looked at is an option, but it's things that we feel should go standard on a coach. And I hope that all makes sense to you. Now, as we move around to the back of the coach, we're gonna start up at the top and you can see the big drip rail that they use on the Renegade coaches. And it, the drip rail along the top rail is just like um, what you would find on a semi-trailer. It's that same type of railing up there. So it's very stout, very strong. And then as we move down, you can see the backup camera. And then we also have the LED scene light. And that light, it's really hard to show on video, but it has two settings. And I talk about this on a lot of videos. Here you can really see, you know, all three of them. We have two lights on the passenger side, one in the back and two on the driver's side. And each one of these lights is switched separately. So if you hear a bump in the night, you can flip a switch on and you're gonna have almost a 360 degree security lighting around the coach. But on the other hand, if you're just at you know camp, like last weekend we were up with our coach and the neighbor kid at the campground next to us was missing. They had lost one of the little kids and we were able to turn on these lights and illuminate the whole camp area and found the kids sitting in the back of a pickup. And it was just very handy to have these extra lights on board. As you can see on this coach, we also included a, a rear window, which I think is really nice. Just note that if you want to order a coach, we can make this an option, but we've started bringing it in as a standard feature. Most of the people that have buying the, been buying the classics from us really like this rear window. Now we're going to move over to the ladder and 
This is where really you start to see the heavy duty construction qualities in a renegade motor coach. You know, a ladder by itself isn't much, but it really sets the tone for how this coach is built all around. It's super stout. You know, I'm 250 plus pounds and I can go up and down the ladder with these and it's just a, I don't even know how to go any further with that. It's just a really good starting point to show you how stout these coaches are. As I talk about being stout, I want to draw your attention to the trailer hitch here. And this hitch is equipped, or this coach is equipped with a 20,000 pound adjustable trailer hitch on the back. It's going to handle just about anything you want to pull with it. Okay, now as we move around to the passenger side or the curb side of the coach, I want to spend just a moment and talk to you about this two-stage Mirage awning. And what happens is when you have a really high motor home, if your awning just went straight out, there's a good chance that the sun's gonna shine right under it. And what Renegade did is they started using the Mirage two-stage awning and the awning comes out straight in its first level and in its second stage, it slopes down as you can see here. And it's a, I've really come to enjoy this awning on our coach and we're as much as possible trying to encourage our customers to add it onto their coach. I also want to point out that this awning also has an LED lighted lead rail, so it's really nice to have the LED lights clear out the end of the awning when it's out. As you can see, this coach right here from the profile shot is just absolutely stunningly beautiful. Now we're going to progress through the curbside storage boxes on this coach so you can get an idea of the amount of storage that's available. You know, some of the things that we do here at IWS after the coach gets to us is that we install crossover boxes, we put gas shut or struts on the doors if you want them, and there's a whole bunch of other things that we'll do to your coach once it gets here. In this box, you can see we've installed a slide out tray for your refrigerator, freezer, or your barbecue grill if you want. Works out really nice to be, or even a cooler, you can set your cooler on there and slide the tray out. Here's the 110 and the 12 volt outlet if you decide you want to use an outside refrigerator, freezer, or just have some outside power packages that's there available. We always try to install them in all of our coaches. As we move to the entry door, you'll notice there's a nice LED light over it for a porch light. Renegade uses a radius entry doorway. The grab handle is LED lighted at night. There's just all these little amenities and features that just make being on the road much more enjoyable. Another amenity that we added to this coach was the outside entertainment center. A lot of people are kind of 50-50 whether or not they want this option, but I found it's sure nice to have that one time that you want to watch the game outside or just listen to some music, it's already there. Now as we move around to the front of the coach, I want to talk a little bit about the chassis. As you can see, we equipped this coach with a Freightliner Cascadia chassis. The one thing that we did different though, is this is a Freightliner Cascadia 113 which means it's 113 inches from the back of the cab to the front of the hood. Normal Cascadias are what's called a Cascadia 125, and that means it's 125 inches from the back of the cab to the front bumper. Since we were able to build this on a Cascadia, or rather we special ordered it, we call this our IWS spec, Cascadia 113, we were able to order it with the hood 12 inches shorter. By doing that, we are able to use that additional 12 inches in living space. I think it's probably one of the best chassis on the road today. And that's why I have one on my personal coach. It's the exact same chassis with the exact same engine. You know, we built a coach for a couple out of Alabama a few months back and he owned a trucking company with a fleet of over 50 trucks. And he really, really helped to sell me on the Cascadia 113 and the Detroit DD13 engine for this particular class of coach. In fact, that's what we did on his. And you know, after him running a fleet of over 50 trucks, I really listened to what he had to say and he just felt this Detroit DD13 was a fantastic engine. And after owning mine and driving it, I completely fell in love with it. And that's why we call this our signature series because it's everything that I'm doing on my coach. Now, as we talk about the engine on this coach, it has the Detroit DD13 at 470 horsepower and it develops 1,650 foot-pounds of torque. I think it's just a fantastic sized engine for this size of coach. It's got plenty of power for me. I pull my, you know, my full-size pickup behind it. I pull my big jet boat behind it. I run 75, 85 miles an hour up and down the freeway, and it's just 
It's just an absolute soothing and refreshing ride. You know, uh, as we're making this video, I'm getting ready to head to Helena for four or five days to go boating with my family, and I can't hardly wait to get into it. We've actually reached the point with my wife and myself where she'd rather ride in this than the pickup. The, the ride is so nice and smooth. There's plenty of power. The thing we really like is that we sit up high in it and we get to see the country in a whole new way. As always, I want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with me and with IWS Motor Coaches. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again, time is something that you can never get back on this earth. And the fact that you chose to spend a little bit of time with us just really means the world to me. I hope you liked this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or stop by. We enjoy visitors. We love to give people tours of our facility and just kind of hang out and visit for a while. Thanks again.